Welcome back to Banjo Kazooie. Welcome back to Banjo, Banjo Junkie. Banjo Banjo Junkies. Hi, welcome to Banjo Junkies, <laughs> where I'm playing Pockets and Chat. <laughs> this is the game called Pockets and Chat. And I'm Kazooie. I tend to go wee a lot, but don't mind me. I'm just having a minor stroke. It happens a lot. Wee! Strokes aren't funny, dude. No, but Kazooie is, and his pain is. Yeah, his her, pain. Her, 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 her pain. Her. Cool. So this boat is more than you think. <laughs> this this boat is more oh, than meets geez. the eye. <laughs> Look at I mean, that's truly close to the edge of the. Oh. <laughs> I, I love, hate this stuff. I love Banjo's little business walk. Okay, there we go. Wait, at, least, at least the camera's slightly better. He's got such version. a business stro- Ooh! You come fucking bokum. <laughs> are those skulls of, like, Mumbo's defeated enemies? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you, you, you're you about to witness something incredibly trolly. So we go in here, and it's a boss fight. Really? Now, without gold feathers, this boss fight is fucking impossible. Because he's a TNT box. He's a TNT box with thousands of TNT boxes inside him. Oh. Uh, oh, I, I see. He's like one of those Russian dolls. This is, um... This is actually a pretty... I like this boss formula. It's so difficult without I'm, gold I'm, feathers. I'm, I'm, I'm a fan. So fuck that boss. Arrgh! <laughs> you've 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 taken me out of existence, but my vocal cords are still there to talk oh, shit about you. <laughs> so I've got one gold feather left. <laughs> Sell it on eBay. <laughs> on banjo on 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 Tilda Bay. What? Yeah. What? Grunt Grunt Tilda Bay. Ah, I yeah. see what you're doing. I thought I meant Tilda as in the symbol on a keyboard. Nah, no, <laughs> no, I wouldn't. Well, I'll, there's, there's, I wouldn't be that quick on music jokes, yeah. especially on keyboard ones. Keyboards are weird. I mean, as in the keyboard doesn't like a computer keyboard. There's a totally oh, keyboard. Oh god. Okay, I thought you meant there was some kind of like instead of rolling. Sorry, I think it might be a Mac joke. Sorry, my bad. Okay, I don't. Oh hello. Oh fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I think those guys just really want to be loved. Hug me. <laughs> <laughs> Like, every time they come up, they're actually mouthing the words, like, What is love? <laughs> oh, have you seen that thing in Leith just now? There's, right, in Leith Walk, which is a place of Edinburgh, there's a sign that's been spray-painted on, on the on the wall that says, What is Leith? <laughs> and, on, and, and underneath that, in white, in white spray-paint, someone's written, um, Beg be don't hurt me. So it's, What is Leith? Beg be don't, don't hurt me. me. Don't, don't hurt me. <laughs> And Begby's a character from um, Train Spotting. Oh, in case you that's seen that. good. That's good. Yeah. What the fuck? Is, what is that? That is. Um, it's the planet cheese. All around you, there was nothing but cheese. It is the surface of the moon. <laughs> Banjo was the first bear on the I moon. I never collected the jiggy from Grunty's eye, did I? Oh no 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 no! You I didn't. didn't. Yeah, you didn't. I need to go do that. We'll do that when you uh, get out of level, yeah. Uh, yeah. When you're free, when oh, you're free to do what you want to do. Fucking level. <laughs> this Ooh, me, tiny door. This fucking Latin. Uh, do I? Do I? You can go in there. Go in there. <sighs> Please don't let this be what I think it is. Oh, it's. It seems like. It seems like some platforming stuff you have to do. Oh, I think this might be what I think it is. Go all the way down. All the way down. And then go out. I have no nope, idea. Nope, we're coming oh, back here wow. later. No, wow. No, no, you have to no. do it now. Because we gotta unlock something before we get down there. Oh, right, Because okay. if we don't unlock it, we get to the end and we can't do anything. No. That's the trolley part. <laughs> so we gotta remember inside the pillar. Oh, well, you can roll and get that as well. That's pretty cool. You just do that. Yeah. Cool. You don't need to use Kazooie's, like, uh, honey-encrusted beak to do it. <laughs> okay. So... At the very top of this, I think there's a... A lifesaver? No, there's a, there's, a, there's a jiggy at the top, I think. I'm not sure. Well, this is a game of exploration. We shall soon find out. <laughs> Dude, to tell you the what? truth, this game has really stood up to the test of time. Oh, no, I mean, it, it certainly like, has. Like, it's... Uh, apart from fucking shit like that. Oh, but that's like... That, <laughs> that's like... That's anything from yeah, like that's, just that, me, that's, that's, that's me playing shitty. That's quality. Well, it's when the camera jumps, though. Like no, but that's like quality of life stuff that you get used to over time. So it's like um, if you 
And I was talking to a friend about this a little while ago, because uh, he was like, uh, you talk about Persona a lot, can you tell me, like, the Persona series seems quite long, and so does the Shin Megami Tensei series, can, is there any point I should start at? I was like, start at the beginning, because if you start anywhere else, you, you, like, if you start with the latest game, you will not be able to go back and play the older games, <laughs> because there's so many, like, little quality of life improvements that just make those games so much better and so much more user friendly. <laughs> Ooh, Mumbo. Mumbo Skull. Um, like, in, um, in, I think it was in SMT. No, 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 no. Ooh, that's gonna hurt as well. <laughs> bounced off the side of the ship like a basketball. Oh. In, S in SMT5, um, it was the first SMT game where if you died, that didn't kill that didn't stop your entire game so it's like imagine a final fantasy party if cloud dies that's it that's the end of the game and yeah. you go back to your last save yeah, point yeah, yeah, which is few yeah. and far between smt5 said no it's all right if your main character dies that's fine <laughs> the rest of your party can revive him kind of thing all the other games don't do that and it makes it really fucking hard because you're you're literally using your friends as like sh human shields <laughs> like one of the one of the first uh, mechanics they introduce in Persona 4 is mortal blow like if you're good enough friends with this person they will tank a hit for you <laughs> and die for you <laughs> <laughs> Sacrifice your friends so that you can go on living and fighting in this world. Okay, <laughs> That's uh, what Persona teaches. I have two problems with the Final Fantasy series. You brought up Final Fantasy just a second ago. Yeah. So, Final Fantasy VII, spoiler alert. Fucking For this... Actually, well, it's being re-released. Actually, they said they're changing a couple of things. Okay, so they? I think... Pretty oh, sure, I'm pretty sure this one will, will remain the same. So, Aerith gets killed. Aerith gets right. bodied. <laughs> right. So, but here's the thing about that, right? The whole game, you use Phoenix Downs to revive your party. Yeah. Right? But she's just fucking gone. Yeah. It's like the game doesn't quite manage to could, like convince me that, you know, someone can permanently die in that universe. <laughs> it's like, you could never really kill a boss because it's like, oh no, just Phoenix down the boss. <laughs> this is fine. Exactly. Well, exactly. I, think, I think the thing with Phoenix down is in their description, I think is revived from a knockout state. But, but Which being, I, being hit in the face with a meteor, I know, is death, and is it's death. it's one of those it's one of those little bits of Final Fantasy where I think it's you just have to suspend your disbelief, you you just have to say okay, <laughs> like three one two one one one. <laughs> yeah, that's what I wanted. Yeah, thanks. I've locked <laughs> I've locked the code into my brain. <laughs> you see me coming back just for that. <laughs> Oh. oh, this game. I love Final Fantasy. Oh. I'm, I've been avoiding- the one Final Fantasy I've been avoiding, like, the plague, uh, is, uh, Final Fantasy XIV. Um, because that's an MMORPG. <laughs> and if I start playing that, I know I'm gonna go- fall down that dark hole again of just, like, I- I, I need this. I need this game in my <laughs> life. What are you trying to do? Get away from me! I need to play Final Fantasy! <laughs> So the other problem I have with Final Fantasy games is I my one of my, one of my favorite ones is Final Fantasy VIII. Yeah, nine is good, but eight is, is pretty fucking good. Because as well. of triple triads. But not. <laughs> that but card the, the, game is amazing. There's a part in that game where you're fighting an undead person, and for the life mm. of me, I was fucking fighting this guy. He's on a train, and oh, you're fighting this motherfucker. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, and yeah. Like, you, like no point. At no point does the game tell you how to fucking win this fight. Like, so I'm fighting this guy and I'm losing continuously. I've got no idea why. And then it's suddenly, I'm like, I speak to a friend of mine. I've been yeah, on this boss he, for weeks. And, and, and my he's friend like, use says, a phoenix down. Use a phoenix down. <laughs> I'm like, what? It's that simple. He says, yeah, just use a phoenix he's down. He's dead, so if you revive him, he'll die. Yeah. <laughs> okay, um, see, so this was what I was talking about. I needed to do this to turn the fans down. Oh. Otherwise, I wouldn't be able to do it. Yeah. So okay. now, now they're a little bit more manageable. They're still bastardy. Did they speed up again? No. Oh, they speed up and slow oh, down. Oh, fuck that. <laughs> um, no, I think that is a thing that they uh, teach banjo. you at... Uh, ba ban banjo. Ba 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 Mr. Banjo? <laughs> oh, Banjo-san. You appear to be having some problems. This guy scares the shit out of me. Check this out. <laughs> so, like, watch. He comes to... Oh, <laughs> yeah. Jesus. He's Oi. like... Fuck. You know what he is? He's like the like-likes from Zelda. <laughs> Except they, they, they take, like, shit from you. They, they take, uh... Oh, they were the grossest enemies. I, I, 
fucking hate the like likes. <laughs> Oh my god, they're so, like, so gelatinous and like, ugh, it's just, everything about them just irks me. <laughs> I'm just gonna get everything else done while, while we're messing around, just because, yeah. like, if I go in there, I am gonna die, like, I will die. <laughs> there's no, there's no fucking around, like, I will die. Banjo, sign your will before you enter this room. I was well, pecking. What the fuck is that about? He, you saw that shit. He uh, he you used he used his invincibility shit. frames to get through your peck. There is no invincibility frames. This motherfucker's going down. <laughs> it's not Street Fighter. Oh there are no invincibility. I'm gonna die here. Oh, nice, 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 nice. Fucking hell. Banjo and Kazooie are slightly upset with you. Oh, nice. Give me that health. <laughs> Give me the health. Give it to me. Uh, is there anything on the kind of like camera, like towards? Oh, Ooh, shit. damn! Uh, He'll blow uh, up after a while, won't he? Uh, if you alert him. Uh, is there anything else in here? And there must be. There's like. There's a gold feather. Yeah, uh, it will be useful. Grab that. Yo, re. Um, yeah, I think the uh, whole phoenix down uh, zombie trope was something that came into uh, like Final Fantasy. I uh, want to say like six. Right. Um, I, I didn't know this, you see. I didn't know that at all. Or so at least I, I, that's sat on the... that, I sat on that fucking boss for weeks. Yeah. Like, until a friend of mine just went, just use a fucking phoenix down. Yeah. And yeah. So I'm probably, everyone's probably <laughs> screaming at me going, Pockets, you're such an idiot. Okay. <laughs> everyone's oh, screaming at off. you like, Pockets, get good. <laughs> okay, so this is where this level gets even more fucked up, because you think... That looks... That does not look breakable. Yeah. That straight up did not look breakable. Not all of them can break either. Oh, come on, get in the- <laughs> Get in the oh, hole! There we go. Okay. Um... Sounds like there's bosses in here. Ooh! Oh, you might have to, um... Uh... Oh, can you- Does that stun them or hurt them? I think it hurts them. It's just, it's really hard to it's, aim when yeah, you Yeah, especially with that camera angle. Like, it's hard to aim at the best of times in this game. Give me some health. Yeah! Yeah! Alright, you can tank this motherfucker. Take him down! <laughs> okay, so I think, is it this one here? I'm not sure if it is or not. Yeah, it is, look, it's Conker! Holy shit! Yeah! This is Conker's cool cabin! Conker's right there! And that is and literally looking, his, his spot yeah, from the game. It's every, yeah. It's crazy, look at him. That's, Aww. that's amazing. Aww. I'd so like to imagine that's this. That's back when, the, basically, there was two teams working on the on the game simultaneously. There was Banjo-Kazooie, and then there was another team that was working on Conker's Bad Fur Day. But at the time, it was con co called Conker's Twelve Tales. I, um... Why am I collecting them? I'm maxed out. <laughs> I, I, I heard a really weird thing about Rare's internal development, and yeah. that's uh, to do with their teams. So uh, they had two teams, like I said, but at one point, they also I think they had... Um, I might be completely wrong with this, but I think they did have uh, three teams at one point. But apparently none of the teams knew anything, knew much about what was going on in the other team's department. So, like, um, I think I, I think I remember this story from, like, an interview with uh, Grant Kirkcobe. Um, and it was like, I, like I, I had no idea what anyone was doing anywhere. <laughs> I was just told to do this and then stuff would happen and I would get paid. <laughs> like, it sounds like, like whoever was overall in charge had like a fucking vision. He's like, you can, no one is allowed to mess with this. No one can know my grand evil <laughs> plan. <laughs> and it's like, when you hear stuff like that, you're like, it's a kind of triumph of the almost kind of like dictatorial style of video <laughs> game making. <laughs> But it's really common in Japan and things where you got like one person that like like grabs hold of the game development and says everyone must do this or not quite that viciously but you have like one person in charge you get things like that with like Hideo Kojima with Metal Gear where you can clearly point to him and say he was good or Hideki Kamiya for right. like uh, Devil May Cry and the fighting scene or the kind of action sequencing in that yeah um, in the West you don't get that as much. And it's a lot more kind of like spread out, and there's a lot more discussion going on. I think there's a, there's a little bit. I mean, rares kind of changed over the years now. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, and uh, like this is I'm a actually, huge I'm, I'm, generalization, yeah. but like I'm, I'm probably looking now more at Platonic games. They've kind of gone back to the sort of style of everybody's can adds to everything. Yeah, and I love that. Um, the whole see when pro when ukulele comes out, we're fucking buying it. Oh yeah, no, we're absolutely. We're gonna play the shit out of that game. That is a must must play. Yeah. Uh, so check this out, right? This, I've always loved this. So in there, in the oven, there's an Ecom Bokum. If but you go in and get super it, hot. Grunty yells at you, Stupid bear! <laughs> you'll have to learn that red hot ovens tend to burn! <laughs> Adding insult to the injury. 
love that shit. I mean, it's not, it's not like, I mean, like, it happens all the time that, like, someone takes hold of the game project. Like, Hideki Kamiya didn't... Oh, sorry. Hideki Kamiya. Hideo Kojima. <laughs> didn't... Uh, it's supposed to HK. Um, oh, no, 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 no! Oh. Oh. oh! That sucks. Like, they still relied a lot on their teams. It's not like it was only them that did everything. Like, no. <laughs> like, everyone on the team, like, put in a little Easter egg in, like, Metal Gear and things. And it was all, like, that's what kind of made yeah, it really the, fun. Uh, the ghost faces in the original Metal Gear took ages to be discovered as well. Mm. Yeah. And there's, like, oh, God, I, love, I, I fucking love Metal Gear. There's so much there. There's so much in Metal Gear. <laughs> that's such a troll. Look at this. So close, but yet so, so far. far. <laughs> what the fuck was that? You saw that, that right? The camera, camera just, just fucking uh, watch out. <laughs> that camera was just like, "Not nah, fuck you. You're gonna <laughs> fail." It's time to go over here now. <laughs> I just wanted to check the other side of the boat in case I've missed something. Um, uh, no. Oh no, there's a, there's one you can break. Well, you'll have to go inside of it next time. Really? Yeah. Okay. Let's do this. Next time yeah. I try about junkies. Next time we will explore more. <laughs> Remember to do your head banging exercise. Hatsune Miku. Hatsune Miku. Hatsu, 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 hatsu. I'm going to eat some more nuts. Go ahead. Get these nuts in my mouth. Hum, num, 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 num. Chat, no, not with your teeth. Ha, 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 ha.